I'm a disgruntled Eagles fan, and we're awesome. Hey disgruntled, this is going to be the Detroit Lions versus the Philadelphia Eagles preview video. I'm going to keep it very short because honestly there's not much to talk about this game in general other than the Eagles on paper should be able to destroy the Detroit Lions. And honestly, there has been glimpses throughout this season where we can realistically destroy them by a huge margin via the blowout, the first game against the Atlanta Falcons, we have potential to blow out really bad teams in the Lions. Now, it's another story is, do I actually believe that the Eagles are going to destroy the Detroit Lions? That's a real question. On the League of the Wing podcast, I predicted that the Eagles will lose to the Detroit Lions. A little bit out of spite just to pick an underdog and to beat Titus if I am correct. Honestly, I don't think I am going to be correct in this statement. I feel like this is a very underrated, or this is a very, uh, it's a very unpopular opinion. I do actually believe that the Lions are going to beat the Eagles. I think it's going to be 24 to 20, Lions beat the Eagles. And you now you may be wondering, what gives me the idea that the Lions have any chance against the Eagles at being 0-7? But... Let me just tell you, they are only two games behind the Eagles. The Eagles are two and five. Honestly, it's not that big of a difference, and they've been both been playing really bad. The Lions actually, honestly, have been looking better than the Eagles in a di few different areas. I, I guess they are playing a kind of Madden-like style of football play where, for example, against the Rams, they went for a onside kick, got a touchdown, and then went for a fake punt, and all were successful. And so all within like five, for the first five to 10 minutes of the game, the Lions are going to be playing very aggressively and very risky in that sense. And then they also went for the two point conversion. Instead of the field goal to tie, they went for the two point conversion, made it to be a point above the Minnesota Vikings. You're still maybe wondering why I'm picking the Lions over the Eagles. And that is because I think the Lions have been very close game in and game out. I mean, they're obviously 0-7 for a reason. They're an absolutely trash football team. But they've been staying close in some games that they shouldn't be staying close in. Hello? Yeah. Come in. I'm filming a video. Oh, shit. Okay. It's okay. You want to say hi? Hi. Hey. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Sorry for interrupting. Continue. Bye. Um, so as I, <coughs> as I was saying before, before I really got interrupted, um, I the Lions have been staying close in games that they shouldn't, like first the hot for <coughs> versus the Ravens, in which the Ravens needed a sixty-six yard NFL breaking field goal kick to beat the Lions. They kept it relatively close against the Rams for a long time. And only lost by two touchdowns, in which probably should have been a lot bigger margin than that. And they also kept it close against the Minnesota Vikings, in which the Minnesota Vikings are better than the Eagles offensively and defensively. But they are kind of in the same style of play, in which Eagles kind of have been staying close to games, and they're below mediocre, right? Like they're right on the edge of being coming mediocre, but they're right at the edge where I feel like the Minnesota Vikings are at that edge as well, where they're just about entering the mediocrity. The Eagles may, it seems like they are farther away from that mediocre rating that I put, but I just feel like they're just about below mediocre. And due to the fact that we just have so much potential in the offense and defense, and we're really good in the pass defense, I wouldn't be saying that if our passing defense wasn't good and our offensive potential wasn't good even though they haven't been playing up to that potential necessarily but I think the Lions are going to actually pull one out of their butt because that coach their coach had coach I don't know his name is really looking for a win he's he broke down thanks to the Ravens game I believe saying that he needs to do better and he just wants to win football games so he's really hungry for a W and I feel like the Lions are going to get a petty win this year, and I think that's going to come against the Eagles, and they're due for a win. So I think this is the optimal time for the Lions to actually get 
uh, when the season end will not be winless no more. And I think they're going to play very aggressively like they've been playing this entire year. They're probably going to be going for it on 4th and 10s, going for a lot of 2-point conversions, just playing very aggressive. And I feel like we're not going to be able to stop that on our defense because honestly, even though we're playing links Jaron Goff and the only weapon on that offense is Swift, DeAndre Swift, then I, I just feel like they're going to be, even though... Yeah, even though they're just bad, I still think they're going to be able to move down the field relatively easily just to, due to play calling plays that wouldn't normally be played and are going to catch the Eagles off guard. And Eagles also are out Miles Sanders, not like Miles Sanders was actually getting used and he was a threat, but still a major part of the offense is being out and we don't have Zach Ertz anymore. So that is why I think the Lions are going to beat the Eagles in an upset. I mean, I don't really think it's an upset. And honestly, this is a game where, uh, this is a game of draft, draft picks, honestly, or this is a game of draft because whoever wins is going to be less off in the draft. And if the Detroit Lions win, then this will actually help the Eagles a lot better. So I'm rooting for the Lions to win because one, we would get a better draft pick because uh, we would be two and six. And also, they would be tied with Miami Dolphins due to Miami Dolphins having a solo win. In that respect, i really hoping that the Lions win, but I just, I, I just, I don't know. I just really hope, I, it's, I just feel like it's a high probability that the Eagles will win just because of how bad the Lions are uh, playing, even though the Eagles are playing a lot worse, but... This is, yeah, I'm just really rooting for that draft pick availability. And if the Lions win, it would help the Eagles out a crap ton. Uh, that's what my thoughts are. I think Andre Swift and Jared Goff are going to get going and pretty aggressive, and our defense won't be able to come back. And I think, it's, I, I think it could be a lot higher scoring game, but I think it's still going to be very close just because I think the Eagles' offense will be able to go down the field and run up and down that uh, field. I don't think the Detroit Lions are going to be able to stop the Eagles much. But here's to say, because the Lions have been keeping teams to low scores relatively, except for some few outliers. But that defense is not, not a defense to be messed with. So with all that in consideration, that's why I think the Lions will win. And I, yeah, I honestly... If the Lions do when I have given up all hope on Nick Sirianni, that's just the Eagles side in me. Yeah, it would look very bad on Nick Sirianni's part if he doesn't pull win thanks to the 0-7 Lions. I hope this doesn't happen, but I think this can enforce, reinforce uh, Nick Sirianni because I feel like some of his bad play calls are going to look good thanks to the Lions and it's going to give that false hope that, wow, Look at how good Nick Sirianni is playing calls. Like, wow, well, we should just continue playing it. In reality, it's just a thing. It's a bad team. But I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that he has bad play calls and the Lions are able to stop him and call him out on those bad play calls so we can learn from that. But, yeah. Um, thanks for watching.